Okay, let me consider a matrix A. We'll start a new thing today. Consider a matrix A. One, four, minus one, zero, two, one, zero, zero, three, and consider few vectors X one. is equal to 4, 1, 0. X2 3, 2, 2. X3 3, 0, zero okay now let us multiply ax1 ax2 ax3 how much they become 3 cross 3 multiplied by 3 cross 1. The result is again 3 cross 1. So, in each of these cases, so what is the result? The first one. One four minus one times four one zero. Four plus four that is eight. Next one is zero actually. So eight. Then you have zero times four, two times one, one times zero that is two then you have zero here comes another one a x2 so 3 plus 8 minus 2 3 plus 8 11 minus 2 is 9 then it comes uh, to the chair Six. Then next one is also six. Come to the last one. This is three. Zero zero. Okay. Now what do you observe from all these three? Can I write this one as uh, 2 times x1? Can I write this one as uh, 3 times x2? Can I write this one as 1 times x1? x3, sorry, 1 times x3. Right. So here is an example that tells whenever we are multiplying a matrix A with a vector x1, the result is a scalar times the vector x1. So multiplying the matrix A with any of these vector x1, x2, x3 is nothing but multiplying the vector by a scalar quantity. Well, 
the scalar quantity is not a random value it has to be chosen very suitably but then that is what the matrix multiplication talks about okay and this example gives rise to one of the very powerful concept called as eigenvalues and eigenvectors Just a minute. Okay. So it's better I'll write the definition. Okay, here we have some keywords. Eigen. Eigen is one of the keyword here. And from Eigen, you have Eigen vector. Eigen, it's actually a German word. The meaning of Eigen is this, what is that? Characteristics. Characteristics. So you have, you can have one eigenvector, but then the matrix has to be a square. It's a square matrix. Provided this equality satisfies, where A is the matrix, X is the eigenvector, lambda is the scalar quantity which we call it as eigenvalue okay so in uh, 
this example we have x1 x2 x3 are the eigen vector and uh, 2 3 1 are the eigen values but then there is also a possibility something like this a um, a uh, times uh, a zero vector is equal to lambda times zero vector here also the inequality satisfies but this is not legitimate this is not legitimate why because um, you cannot have eigen vector as zero vector zero vector as eigen vector you cannot have zero vector as eigen vector Eigen vector cannot be zero, but eigen values can be zero. So this is not accepted. This is not accepted. So let us see in another example and let us find something. Okay, we have a um, we have a is equal to 0 5 7 0 minus 1 2 0 3 1 and a vector I have as five zero zero can we ascertain that uh, x is the eigenvector of a can we ascertain that x is the eigenvector of a so for that um, let us find out what is a x is what is ax the result of ax would be 0 uh, this will also be 0 this will also be 0 this is your ax so a times the eigenvector so called eigenvector not yet proven 
So a times the x vector is equal to 0, 0, 0. Well, I can very well write that this 0, 0, 0 is nothing but 0 times 5, 0, 0. So uh, here I have lambda value is equal to 0 with lambda equal to 0. So lambda equal to 0 is a perfectly legitimate one. So Ix can be 5, 0, 0. That is also legitimate one, isn't it? So that is what? If A is this, X is this, it's proved that uh, lambda equal to, with lambda value is equal to zero, this can be one of the eigenvector. Let's take another example. what happened so here also let us check whether it is an eigenvector or not ax is equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 and 7 But then here <clears throat> we don't find 3, 7 to be any multiple of the vector 1, 1, right? Say that is we want this 3, 7 to be a multiple of lambda times 1, 1, which is uh, which is actually appears to be impossible which it appears to be impossible in the sense that the first value is lambda as yes, first value is one second value is one so first value becomes lambda second value becomes one i mean both the values becomes equal but here you have three and seven unequal values so that makes a little bit tricky it may not it is not feasible so this is not one of the eigen vector of the matrix a okay now let us further our discussion a little bit okay we have been writing um, we have been writing that ax is equal to lambda x this i can write it as ax minus 
lambda x equal to 0. This further I can write. If I take x common a minus lambda times x is equal to 0. Now, did I write it correctly? No. The reason is a minus lambda. a is a matrix. Lambda is a scalar quantity, a single value. So dimensionally, these two are not compatible. So what I'll do here, I'll put here identity matrix so that whenever I take X out of it, so it's still one and I'm multiplying with that. So here comes a minus lambda i times x is equal to zero. Now, if I write a minus lambda i as b and this becomes x, so this is same as the very first equation that we saw in our very first lecture ax equal to 0. So nothing changes. The earth is round. Again, we came back to the same position. Okay. So uh, this, it's the same thing in a linear homogeneous system of equations. You are going to solve for x. The unknown is x. And of course, if B has an inverse, then we can solve this equation. And uh, but then X is an eigenvector. Right. X is an eigenvector. And we are saying that uh, B is having an inverse. It's something like, let me write it x is equal to b inverse uh, 0. x equal to b inverse 0. And this, I mean, you can solve for x only when b inverse exists, right? Or I can write that x is equal to 0. If b inverse exists, that means x is equal to 0. But this is something contradictory. Eigenvector cannot be 0. Eigenvector cannot be 0. Isn't it? So, if we accept that eigenvector cannot be 0, that means B inverse should not exist. Hence, B inverse doesn't exist. If B inverse doesn't exist, what does that mean? B inverse, the square matrix B. This doesn't have an inverse. What does it mean? It means that the determinant of B is equal to 0. Deter determinant of B is equal to 0 or in other words 
डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए माइनस लामडा आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स विल बी एन आइगन वेक्टर ऑफ ए एक्स विल बी एन आइगन वेक्टर ऑफ ए एफ एंड ओनली एफ दिस इन इक्वालिटी होल्ड्स ए माइनस लामड़ा आई दिस इक्वालिटी होल्ड्स बिकम्स जीरो एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल इट एज करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इक्वेशन and the roots of this equation tells the eigen value so we have let us say take an example again the same example i'll take a is equal to 1 2 3 so a minus lambda i is equal to One, two, three, four minus lambda times one zero zero one. So that I can write it as one, two, three, four minus lambda zero zero lambda. and that is nothing but one minus lambda two three four minus lambda and uh, it's determinant if you find you have 1 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda right minus 6 uh, can you get the equation i mean can you get the roots how much it would be 
this is four uh, four uh, lambda minus lambda minus four lambda minus lambda minus five lambda plus lambda square minus six so you have So you have lambda is equal to minus B. So this becomes plus B plus minus B square is minus four AC twenty minus four plus eight. by 2a so you have 5 plus minus 33 square root by 2 so these are the two lambdas you have Okay, let's see another example. A is equal to T two T two T minus T. So A minus lambda I. A minus lambda I would be T minus lambda and uh, this becomes minus T minus lambda this doesn't change this doesn't change okay so determinant of a minus lambda i becomes t minus lambda if i take minus common this becomes t plus lambda minus 4t square so this one becomes a plus b into a minus b <clears throat> a square minus b square minus t square minus lambda square minus 4 t square 
so this becomes lambda square minus 5t square so if uh, lambda square minus 5t square becomes 0 so find out what is lambda yes that's a simple one lambda is equal to you have two lambdas plus minus square root of 5t square so let me write lambda 1 as a square root of 5 times t and uh, lambda 2 is equal to minus square root of 5 times t Now, uh, what it signifies actually? It gives rise to some one important property which you will be actually utilizing in the subsequent classes. The important thing is, please notice that if the matrix A is, uh, is parameterized, if matrix A is parameterized with a parameter T, then their eigenvalues are also parameterized with the parameter T. Eigenvalues are also parameterized with the eigenvalues T. If matrix A depends on T, so the eigenvalues depends on that is what the outcome is. Okay. We'll take, we'll take one last example for today's class then we'll wind up let us take a is equal to now let us take 3 cross 3 and up to cross 2 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 2 1 0 0 1 so a minus lambda i is equal to here what happens like the two diamonds uh, two two cross two matrix case here in 3 cross 3 also, all diagonal elements are subtracted by the scalar quantity lambda. So we have 2 minus lambda. We have minus 2 minus lambda. We have 1 minus lambda. Rest of the values doesn't change. And uh, what is determinant of A minus lambda I?
yeah, this is zero, right? Zero, zero, one minus lambda. It's better to take this one as our row. Yeah. So this becomes one minus lambda. Mm-hmm. I think I made a mistake. This minus will be common actually. So four, oh, sorry, minus four plus lambda square plus three. So this is actually one minus lambda times uh, lambda square minus one. Yeah, that's correct. And this is equal to zero. So we have lambda is equal to one. Lambda one, let us say. Lambda two is equal to one. Lambda three. is equal to minus one that is lambda equal to one from this equation and uh, lambda equal to plus minus square root of one from this equation Okay, that's it. So, we talked about eigenvalues today. Uh, eigenvalues, eigenvector we started with. And uh, we talked about the characteristics equation. And uh, we started uh, we then continued on finding the roots of the characteristics equation that is the eigenvalues so we'll stop with this today next class we'll be talking more about eigenvectors and 
some of the applications that you will actually be utilizing in your thesis work. OK. So that's all for today. Thank you.